Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So that time is upon us. Christmas is here. We only have 20 more sleeps before the big day and perhaps you were far more organized than I am. But if not, today's video might help you out a little bit because I have 20 gift ideas that I wanna share. So I have a range of items here from beauty to fashion to travel as well as some tech and ranging from the inexpensive to the little price here. So hopefully there's something here for everyone on your list or even yourself. So I'm gonna start with beauty because that's kind of where I tend to start specifically in skincare. And there was one brand that I wanna introduce you to and they are called Fortuna Skin. This is a luxury brand that I think people should really experience if they can. These products come from a sustainable farm in Sicily and they really are quite special. Now I've already done a video on one of their products which is my favorite. It is their hero. It's called the Biphase Moisturizing Oil and I will also put a link to that down below. But this is a range that is very expensive. It is very luxurious and it's probably not going to be something that most people can try. However, they have a gift set that I think would go down a treat. It is called the Custom Discovery Set, and it enables you to buy four samples. I think it runs about $95, and you can pick from a selection of their products. Now, I personally have the kit, <laughs> and I'm still dabbling with the products myself, and I cannot express how beautiful they are. If you're looking for something that's really a piece of luxury to give someone, this is it. Now, personally, if it was me and I was making my recommendation, the four that I would pick would be the Biphase Oil, the Replenishing Balm, the Eye Revitalizing Cream, and the Nightly Renewal Cream. But they have a couple of different ones you can select from. They're micellar water. There are a couple of different things, and you can put together this little pack, and it is the most beautiful range of products. So if you're looking for something a little bit special, a skincare that people probably aren't gonna be able to get their hands on so easily, then this is the one. Now I did speak with the brand and they are having a two day sale from December 11th to December 13th that gets you 20% off your purchases. So this is the time to go and look. And again, their Biphase Oil, which I just finished, Sad Face, it is a beautiful, beautiful product. So this is definitely worth checking out. Okay, next up in the beauty category is actually about the hands. Now, if you have been to this channel before, you know I'm a little obsessed with hand creams. And in my opinion, about 98% of the hand creams in the market actually don't do anything for my hands. And I'm a little obsessed. I probably apply 12 times a day. Um, I just don't like dry hands. So I'm a bit discerning and I'm a bit snobby about my hand lotions, but I have recently come in contact with a brand called Necessaire. And let me just start by saying, this is a new brand for me and I've only tried three products now and I love them all. But what I love about this duo, you buy these two together, is that they're doing two different things but complementing each other. So one is for day and one is for night. Now the daytime is a multi ceramide formulation that's really there to help combat the dryness, that really kind of itchy or just tight feeling that I personally experience because I wash my hands a lot throughout the day, as I'm sure most of us do, and it just takes care of that and it helps to build the barrier. Then we have the retinol cream, and this is a 0.25 retinol serum that works at night. You only use this guy at night. And I put this on right before bed, it sits on my nightstand, and it does all the reparative work, which is helping to work at a cellular level to give us more youthful skin. So this is what's gonna help us with sort of the wrinkly skin, the hyperpigmentation, and the crepiness. Don't like the crepiness. So these two together are absolutely beautiful. Now the one thing to note, um, the retinol product is only available in the US and Canada. I'm really sorry to my European and other worldly um, followers, but if you're in the US or Canada, this little duo is gorgeous. Okay, next up are eye patches. Now this is <laughs> not going to surprise anyone. I actually think it was in my gift guide last year and I think it's going to be in all of my gift guides. This is by Do Skin. So these are very, very thin silicone masks and the beauty of this is it's designed to be used with whatever products you already have. Now I use eye serums, I use eye creams, I have eye oils, I have the gamut. So you can use whatever you have in your house. So this is designed to trap the product underneath your skin and it also keeps the air out so it's going to have a plumping action. 
action. Now I use these probably three times a week and because they're reusable, you just wash them, stick them back on here and use them again. I think I've had these for about two years now and they were one of the best investments I've ever made because you don't need other things to go with it. I think they run about $25 and perfect stocking stuffer. I use them in the morning, straight out of the shower. I put on my eye serum and I leave it on for about 15 minutes. And when you take it off, your skin is plump, your skin is dewy, and that is a real problem area for me. As I age, I'm seeing a lot more of that wrinkly, crepey skin, which I just can't stand. So literally, you put on a tiny bit of your eye product, and you wait just about, you know, 15 seconds, so it's not super wet, and then you just plop this little guy on, and you go about your business. Absolutely fabulous. I think every lady and dude needs these in their lives. Carrie, would you like a set for Christmas? I use yours, Mary. You use mine. Okay, well, you know, they're right over there. <laughs> Next up, might not seem like a good gift. And in fact, there are going to be a couple of those in the list here today. These are the gifts people don't even know that they need. But once they get them, you will be their favorite person because you gave it to them. These are beauty scoops. Now, I, when I say these, there's supposed to be a second one. <laughs> this comes in a set of two. I have a much shorter one here. And these are these scooping mechanisms that are designed to get the last bit of anything out of jars, bottles, tubes, you name it. These have been a little lifesaver and they are not expensive. I think I got them off of Amazon. So by the way, links for all of these products will be listed in the description bar below. This is absolutely genius. You can use it for anything. I've used it for makeup, for skincare, for body care, even kitchen care. Are you trying to get the last of the mayonnaise out? This little guy is going to do it and I need to find the little one. But this is one of those things that people do not know that they need in their lives until they have it. So in my opinion, this will make the best stocking stuffer for just about anyone. Okay, I have a couple of hair things that may not be obvious as well. And I have talked about this so many times on this channel. So apologies if I sound like a broken record. This is the shower cap. This is the shower cap to beat all shower caps. I am a very recent convert to taking showers every day without washing my hair. And it's been a bit of a journey to get there. But this has been a life changer. And the reason is because of the lining on the inside. I have learned through trial and error that regular shower caps still allow the moisture to get through. So you take that thing off and you're like, why is my hair a little bit wet? You need something that's actually going to stop that from happening. And this has a terry cloth lining. And this thing is just my best friend because I'm not washing my hair until every third or fourth day. This is what I use every day in the shower in between. It's one of those things that someone's going to thank you for. They don't know they need it. But if you have people in your lives that try to not shampoo their hair every day, this is going to be a game changer. Next up is another hair product. Now, people come here and know I've been on a journey and I'm trying to do less harmful things to my hair. I have found a series of products by a company called OctaCurl. So if you want curly hair, if you want nice ringlets, or if you want even much tighter curls without any heat damage, this is the company for you. They have a number of different products. And by the way, I have them all. And you use these on damp hair. Personally, the way that I do it is I kind of wet my hair down, I wrap my hair up and I go to bed and I wake up in the morning and the curls are unreal. So some are designed to sit on your head and wrap around. They have varying types and I have to tell you they are genius. And every time I use one I go gosh I wish there was one that did this. They come out with one. This is the latest. I cannot wait to try it. You literally place it on your head, you wrap it around and you go to sleep and they've gotten very cushy, very cushy. Guys, these are inexpensive. These are maybe $20 or $19 or 25. These are genius. So if you are looking for ways to wake up with curly hair that just is perfect and curls that actually stay all day long, then you need to check out OctaCurl. It is outstanding. Okay, so next we're gonna move into a few items in the clothing territory. And I think I talk about this in most <laughs> Christmas gift guides. It's cashmere. Guys, any kind of cashmere gift is a bit of luxury. Cashmere is timeless. Uh, cashmere lasts forever if you take care of it. And they don't have to be expensive. There are scarves, there are socks, there are certain things that actually don't have to cost the bank that actually feel so good on the skin and they make someone feel special when they're wearing them. Now I have this cashmere cap that I was gifted in my Chris Kindle at work, which was so kind, Katrina, thank you. Um, and I'm obsessed and I wear this every year and in a nice neutral color will go with absolutely everything, particularly if you're living in a warm climate. Now the next is a pair of gloves. Now I live in Ireland, it's pretty cold 
cold here. Um, not as cold as other parts of the world, but chilly enough. And I think a good pair of gloves also goes a very long way. Cashmere. Now I got these. These are kind of special. I picked up these from a recycled cashmere company in the UK called Nearly New Cashmere. So they take cashmere pieces and they repurpose them. They make new sweaters, they make hats, all sorts of things. Now, personally, I like a fingerless glove because it's not Arctic here. It's not super, super cold, but I love these because I can still use my fingers. I can still use my phone. I can still do things, um, but it gives me that nice warmth. The cashmere is so soft. And these were not expensive. I think these were about 25 pounds. So there are so many options when it comes to the different types of cashmere that you can get. Gary got me the most beautiful scarf for Christmas and I'm obsessed and I wear it all the time. It's something that's a bit special and I think when you give a cashmere gift, it makes people feel special. Next on the list is something that I don't even have and that I would very much like are silk pajamas. There is something about a pair of silk pajamas that feels special. Now, also a silk robe, something in that territory where you just put it on the way that it feels against your skin. It's just, it's, it's a bit more, it's a bit extra. Now, I personally would love something that has like a Japanese inspired print. The simple colored options are also beautiful too. And I think there's just something about fabric. When you think about the way that a fabric feels on your skin, it's just something extra. It's something special. So if you're looking to give a gift to someone that you want them to know how special they are, I think a pair of silk pajamas goes a very long way. Okay, next up, I have a category that I have not done before, which I'm calling travel. Now, as an American living abroad for a very, very long time, I spend a lot of time on planes and I spend a lot of time on long haul planes. I go back and forth to the States quite a few times a year and anything that I can do to make the experience a little bit better, a little bit easier, a little bit more comfortable is ace in my book. Now I'm gonna start simple. <laughs> One is a water bottle. Now, if you know me, if you spend any time in person with me, you'll know I am never without a water bottle. Ice water is just my best friend. I take it everywhere. So my reliance on keeping things super, super cold is super, super high. I'm a very loyal Yeti user and have been for a very long time, but I recently switched over to the Corksicle. Now it's funny because I've used them in the past and I think last year's Christmas guide talked about the smaller ones. I use them for gin and tonics and they have lovely little champagne ones that if you need to keep things cold when you're out and about on a picnic, you know, sitting out in the garden, mwah, they are gorgeous. But I upped the game. I picked this up when I was traveling back from the States in one of the airports, and I had no idea how good it was gonna be because I go to bed at night, fill it up with ice water, wake up in the morning, it's still there. I had this last for 24 hours with the same ice. It was absolutely mind-blowing. So this has become my absolute favorite thing. This is in the sort of leopard situation design, but I'd actually picked up one for Gary as well, which I later learned, I think this is Black Panther, which I didn't even know when I bought it. I just thought, ooh, that's pretty. And I think they come in like Captain America and all sorts of stuff. These things are the business. Now they're not cheap, you know, they run about 40, $45, but they are worth every freaking penny. So mine comes with me in the car. I'm never without them at work. When I travel back to the States, I fill it up with ice once I've gone through security and I drink ice water the whole way there. And these, you know, it's an 11 hour flight to get to San Francisco. I'm flying this weekend and I'm gonna be 16 hours getting to my destination. This guy is coming with me and will keep me hydrated and it will keep all of my water nice and cold. Next up is a travel pillow. It is the best travel pillow I have ever tried. And believe you me, I have tried them all. Gary, how many travel pillows do you think I have at this moment in time? <laughs> I don't know, Mary. <laughs> well, let's just say it is only a fraction of the travel pillows that I've tried over the years because those big ones that go around those, you know, donut situations, they do not work for me. They actually cause neck aches. But I discovered something probably about four years ago um, called turtle. Now, it's funny because I'm seeing them everywhere on social media for the past probably, I don't know, eight months, but I have been using it for years. What is so interesting about this product is that it allows you to sleep sitting up, which is what you have to do when you're sitting on an airplane. And it has this kind of internal bone structure that's made of a heavy plastic and it's housed in a very comfortable um, fabric and you wrap it around your neck so that when you tilt your head, it just keeps it in place. And it is absolutely genius. Now. There's a bit of a horror story. <laughs> I would show it to you right now and I would put it on, but I lost it. Um, we were on a train between Lisbon and Porto and I left a bag on the train and inside of that was my turtle. Um, 
Anyway, heartbroken, need to get another one, but it is the best travel pillow. So even Gary, whom I let use it, I think coming back from San Francisco, went, huh, that's pretty good. Didn't you think so? Yes. <laughs> so it has the Gary stamp of approval. You know that puppy's good. So if you travel a lot or if someone in your life travels a lot, you need to buy a turtle. Just saying. Okay, next up, this is totally not going to be a surprise. My well-insulated bags. Okay, you guys know I have talked about these things so many times. This is high-tech for travel. So these were designed with aerospace engineers, <laughs> no joke, in order to protect the contents of anything that goes inside of it. This will keep the contents safe from light, heat, cold, moisture will protect the integrity of what's inside. This can be used for skincare, medicine, baby food, even electronics. I have one for, for the computer. So this is super high tech. This is incredibly durable. I have taken these on every trip. And because I have them in so many sizes, if I'm just going away for a night or two, I will use this one. I've used certain ones just for hair pieces. I have bigger ones, I have flatter ones, depending on how I wanna pack. So I never travel without these now. I keep all my skincare in one, I keep my hair care in another. I've taken them to the beach to keep my phone from overheating in 45 degree weather. So these little guys are not only functional, but they are beautiful and they have them in gold and they have them in rose gold, which I wish I'd gotten the rose gold. But these are absolutely travel essentials as far as I'm concerned. So, so many different sizes to choose from. I think they would be a wonderful gift to give the traveler in your life. If you have any over packers in your life, hello, <laughs> that might be me, then I think travel cubes are an absolute necessity. I have a set by a company called Trevology and they're genius. Not only do they help me to keep things nice and tidy and it makes it very easy for me to unpack and repack, but they actually reduce the volume of content that you can put in them. You can gain 50% more volume by using these cubes. So they're double-sided and you pack both of the sides and then you zip them together. So what, you know, what starts off as this thick will come down to this thick. They are fantastic. So I got these just before summer and now I don't travel without them because they give me so much more space. So if you have people that overpack, Uh, this would be something that is going to make their life so much easier because you're going to give yourself a lot more space. So if you're trying to pack more stuff into a smaller case, bonus. Or if you maybe pick up a few things along the way and you need a little extra room when you travel, bonus again. Who would that be, Mary? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Are you saying that I shop when I'm gone? No. <laughs> Okay, in the very last category, I'm calling tech or devices, and really that's just sort of anything that plugs in. Now, now that we've already talked about cashmere and what a wonderful gift it is to give, I think this should go alongside of it. And I think every home should have a fabric shaver. And it's not very sexy, and it's not very romantic, but if you've never had one in your house and then you have one in your house, you can see the difference that it makes. Because if you have cashmere wool, if you have knitwear and they bobble, and trust me, they do, there's nothing you can do to stop it, this will take something from looking shabby to looking brand new again. And in fact, I bought one in for the fellow behind the camera, and it is absolutely genius. I think I've probably used it more than he has, would you say? I would say so. I would say so. Um, but you, you realize that the difference when you put something on, I've taken clothes off before because they just don't look polished, they look bubbled, they look worn, they look old, and as soon as you freshen it up and you would be amazed at how effective they are. I have the one by Steamery, I just realized it's not here. I meant to bring it, it's actually sitting downstairs. Um, it works beautifully every time, it's rechargeable, it's portable, and I think it's just one of those gifts that people don't know how much they need until they get it. So you will be loved for it, trust me. The next couple fit into that category of, you can tell when someone has moved from a very warm climate to a cold climate, because this is about making yourself feel warm and cozy. The first is a rechargeable hand warmer. Now these are small, and I don't know if you know people who spend time waiting at the bus stop, like my poor little teenager who takes the bus every day to school, or you have sports fanatics, people who are standing by the side of a pitch or going to a football match or whatever it might be. People are standing outside for long periods of time, get really cold hands. 
I'm one of those people. I suffer from a condition that means I've got poor circulation in my fingers. These portable hand warmers, I think they're about 15 bucks. Stick them in your pocket. They're rechargeable and it just keeps your digits nice and warm. It's just so practical. I wish they'd had these years ago when I was spending a lot more time outside. Um, I just think they're genius and they're a great little stocking stuffer and they're super affordable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next is an item that made Gary laugh when um, it was included on the list, and maybe I wanted, but that's just me. These are heated slippers. These are rechargeable slippers that you put your little toesies in and they warm them up. Can you tell that I'm a Floridian who then moved to California, who then moved to Ireland and has been suffering ever since? It is so much colder here and wetter here. But the idea of slipping your little toes into heated slippers when you get home at the end of the evening, I mean, who wouldn't want that? <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't want it if you live in Hawaii, I suppose. But for those of us who live in a cold climate, I mean, the, the idea alone makes me want to run out and buy them. So they're could be somebody who really, really loves you for getting them things that keep their toes warm. And the last thing in that keep my body warm, creating a comfortable environment is the heated blanket. You guys, if you lived where I lived or if you live in a cold climate, I do not know how people survive without these. And because I always grew up and I've always lived in warm climates and it was never necessary, when I moved here, holy Toledo Batman, this place is so cold when you go to bed. <laughs> So for years, I was using a hot water bottle. You fill it up with boiling water, you stick it in the bed. But sure, it's only that big. So the rest of your body is freezing. You're getting into super, super cold sheets. Well, not anymore. I've been using a heated blanket, or mine's actually a heated mattress cover, but I have been using one of these for probably seven years now, and I cannot imagine getting into bed without it. And on those few occasions where I do, it's a very, very sad evening, uh, and I've managed to find one that has dual controls. So I have one for my side of the bed and one for Gary's. Carrie doesn't like a heated bed. So I get in, it's nice and cozy, and every single night I get into bed, and I'm like, oh, this is so nice. And Gary gets him to a cold side of the bed, and he's like, oh, whatever. Toughen up, kid. <laughs> I think that's what he's thinking. Would that be right? That would be right. Yeah. Couldn't live without it, just saying. Okay, the next one is actually in the travel category, and this is so cool, and it's actually on my own list. This is a portable mirror by Amiro. It's a combination mirror and makeup case, but it lights up. I don't know about you guys, but the amount of times I've been in a hotel or I've been traveling somewhere and the lighting is so bad and I've walked out and seen myself in the natural light and deeply regretted the choices that I made for makeup because the lighting is so poor. So this one little compact piece can contain your makeup as well as a portable LED mirror. This is genius and I want one. I wonder if Gary's listening right now. <laughs> if you could see his face, he was not. <laughs> you might have to repeat that. I'll, gonna, I'll watch it back. <laughs> you have to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really funny. So I think any beauty lover, somebody who travels with a lot of makeup, somebody where makeup is actually important when they travel, which to be honest isn't me most of the time. I've made some, some horrible mistakes, but I don't really generally wear a lot of makeup anyway, but this to me is genius and I want one. Can't wait for you to have to go back and figure that out. <laughs> Okay, next up is something I've talked about a lot on this channel, and I'm doing an upgrade. I hope I'm doing an upgrade. I hope Gary has heard this. Um, it is a beauty fridge. Now, this is a pure luxury piece, and a lot of these things on this list are. None of these are necessarily necessities, but they are very much nice to have. The beauty fridge has kind of changed my life, as shallow as that sounds. My beauty fridge sits right here. It is made by Style Pro, and it was on my list a couple of years ago, and I've had it for two years, and it's kind of died. Um, it's on, but it's not really keeping things cold anymore. So I'm looking for an upgrade. So I'm here to tell you, if you're getting a beauty fridge, bump up the size. My Style Pro was only a four liter and there's not a whole lot you can fit into it. I'm hoping for a 10, maybe even a 12 liter, something that I can pack a lot more in because I did not realize the positive impact that it was going to have on the products. Now I'm not talking about efficacy or even stability or longevity but the way that things feel when they go on that's what's made the biggest difference and I can't fit enough stuff in it so anything for the eyes I put in there any kind of masks I put in there but there are so many other things that I want to chuck in there because the way that it feels when things go on my skin I love cooling products on my middle-aged skin 
my menopausal skin where you can get a little flushed. It's one of those things that you do not need a beauty fridge, but if you can get a beauty fridge, I would get one and I'd get a bigger one. I'm just gonna say it now, 10 liter, 12 liter. I'm ready to put a whole American style double situation in here <laughs> for all of my skincare. Gary is dying right now <laughs> behind the camera, laughing, shaking his head, going, what a weirdo. But I'm telling you, if you are into your skincare, that's where it should go. Now, I am gonna say it's weird. I'm not including any beauty devices here. And the only reason I've done that is because I've just done a whole Black Friday video about the devices in my life, the devices that I love. Now, I don't think that a lot of those deals are on any longer, but it's all the stuff that I use and it's the stuff that I think is great when it comes to devices. So if you're looking to invest then go check out that video. I'll put a link to that down below because that's all the stuff that I'm using on a regular basis and I love my devices. So if you are looking for LED or you're looking for microcurrent or anything else, you know, I have information. And if you have any questions, just drop them for me down below and I'd be happy to answer. Okay, there's only one last little thing because I didn't know where to put it. I just stuck it at the end and it's a candle. I am obsessed with scented candles and my territory of preferred scent is very, very small. I love cinnamony kind of stuff um, all year round, but there is a candle that I discovered this year. In fact, I got it for my daughter for her birthday and I loved it so much. I wanted to steal it, but that would be a horrible thing to do. It is by an Irish brand called La Bougie and the scent is cider and tonka bean. So this is a company that was established by a chef, a retired chef. In fact, she was the personal chef to Sarah Ferguson, who is the Duchess of York. And there's obviously a very um, close correlation between scent and taste. She very much got into the perfumery space and started this company, I think in 2012. It is an Irish company. I do know that they ship internationally and I hope to have details about where you can find it in the UK and in the US and other areas of the world. It is heaven. And I really, really hope that I get some of these candles Multiple would be great for Christmas because then we could just have them all year round. They are absolutely gorgeous. It says the notes are windfall, apple, vanilla, and cinnamon, and their 220 gram candle will burn for 50 hours. I mean, I've walked into Rowan's room loads of times and I was like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's beautiful. Okay, that's it for today's video, guys. That is a roundup of some gift ideas that might work for you and your loved ones. So if you like the look of this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And were there any here that you might be buying for any loved ones in your life? Are there any other items that I need to know about? Because we've only got 20 days left and I got a lot of work to do. So I'd love to hear from you guys if you have any gift ideas for me. So thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Ho, ho. Ah, oh, that sounds stupid. I was going to go ho, ho, ho. Is that stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Your giggle says yes, it is. No, Mary. Okay. Because shower curtains, if they don't have a lining and you put shower it on. Shower cups. Sorry. And shower. And shower.